see here we're doing an underhand lat pull down. What I'm doing to maximise recruitment of the lower back is having a bent knee whilst on the floor. So essentially I'm kneeling on the floor. This means my spine is in a neutral position and it's safer. Um, also limits the weights that I can possibly use. So with this one I'm effectively bringing my shoulder blades up. Not 100% because I've got long arms. Um, I'll lose tension in my lats if I go all the way to extension and the tension will then go to my biceps too much and that my wrists will suffer for it. I'm essentially pulling it down, control cadence, tucking them in, just like that. Here we've got Sophie doing the dual legged calf raises off a platform. Ideally you use a proper piece of machinery for this, but I'm using a um, private home gym, a family member's gym. Um, so she's getting her foot position right so she can activate her calves properly. Here what I'm telling her is to flex or activate her tibialis anterior muscles. Therefore that will allow the calf muscles, the gastrocnemius muscles, which I'm touching now, to fully contract. So they can stretch, contract. Now she found out too easy, so I said increase the intensity. So by doing that we then used one leg at a time. You'll see here that she's sort of tucking her leg back. I've sort of let her know, you know, keep one leg to the side. You know, keep your central gravity relatively central if you can. That will mean all the tension will be forced into the calf muscle and that will be used as the primary stabiliser rather than, you know, using your arms and legs to hold onto the side and try and find balance. You know, you want to activate a lot of muscle groups in this sort of exercise. Um, again, stretch, high contraction, control, negative. This one, we're doing a moderate stance squat. She's finding her place in the bar, you know, neutral grip, placing quite high on the back, making sure she's central. She's checking out her feet to make sure they're in her right position. You know, slight bend outwards of the knees. Some people prefer to go wider at the knees, but, you know, I prefer to keep things neutral for the most part. Um, all she's doing is basically pulse squats. So she's keeping the tension in her quads and glutes by activating the muscle groups whilst at the bottom of the rep. So here I'm touching her thighs. I'm emphasizing to her that she needs to flex the outside of her quads to activate and push the muscle up. You know, most people want the outside of the quads more than the inside. You know, it's harder to activate in terms of muscle building anyway. All right, the next exercise is a split squat. So here you'll notice just going all the way up, all the way down. Her balance isn't that great, you know, so I make some tweaks throughout this movement. I say keep the cadence relatively even, up and down, down, up. Notice her balance isn't very good here, so I've made some adjustments. I said hold on to your thighs on either side, and that will give you more preperception to each side of your leg. That should help with your muscle activation and help to really balance and stay focused. Thanks for watching that guys, hope that was useful. Um, make more videos of this in the future if there is a demand for it. Um, these are just a sample few exercises that I would like some people to include in their workouts, uh, particularly in the case of trying to maximize muscle activation whilst minimizing damage and stress to the knees, um, hips, back, joints in general. Um, it will be very useful to some of you to actually try these things out. Um, I am quite a proponent of pre-exhausting in terms of workouts. It doesn't mean that everyone has to do this. Um, people watch this video and say, oh, well, everything you do is based on this. That's not it at all. Um, with all my clients, their workouts are all different. Every single one of them. I have some clients that do not train to failure, so they'll be doing this sort of workout. I have some clients that will be doing upper-lower, maybe push pull leg split. Um, currently, I don't have any advanced bodybuilders that are doing a body part split. In terms of Monday chest, Tuesday back, so on and so forth. Um, I may do in the future, but for now, these are sort of workouts that I'm recommending to people, at least in the sense of trying to warm up and pre-exhaust target muscle groups. So this should be useful, I'm hoping. Um, if you have any sort of requests for different videos in regards to training, let us know. Um, you can contact us through the website, uh, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, um, all my social links are on my website 
um, I'm very accessible, so if you have any questions, please direct them to me through those means. Um, maybe just title it, you know, exercise library query or something like that. What I'm hoping to do at some point in the near future is have a whole library of individual videos with individual exercises demonstrating how to do it and how you might apply it to your workout overall. So I'm focused and concerned about my clients having the most gains with the minimal stress, minimal damage, uh, really maximising what they're going to get and what muscle gains are going to accrue from the workouts that they're doing. Um, training should be time efficient, but it should also be enjoyable. So try to tie all these things together. You know, some of these exercises you don't enjoy, your body mechanics perhaps mean that you don't find much benefit out of it. Try something else, nothing wrong with that at all. Um, you'll get a lot of benefit from really fine-tuning your workouts, choosing the right exercise for you. There'll be times in your workouts, in terms of your planning, where you will alternate the exercise order. That wouldn't be a problem. Um, what I will say is you do want to try and find a baseline. So, for example, if you know that your, you know, your push day, your chest, shoulder, tricep day starts with chest, then shoulders and triceps, try to keep it in that order. Um, if you struggle, for example, to activate your upper chest, it might be that the first exercise you do is for upper chest. You may do some pre-exhaustion um, exercises to stimulate those muscle fibers first. So it is very nuanced. Um, I can't give out template ideas for people. People could watch this video and say, design me a workout program. Um, I won't be able to help you in that regard. Um, what I will be able to do though is direct you to my links to my coaching, my training, my diet plans, all available from my website, which is compositionconsultant.com. And through there, you'll be able to make an affordable purchase and get all the information you require. Um, at least in terms of, from a coaching perspective, I'll be able to do the most I can for you. It may be that you have different equipment, so you might be able to do more or less than what you're showing in these videos. Um, what I say to people is get an idea of roughly what, give me an idea what program you can do. You know, if you can train three days a week, it might be that you're doing a full body workout, perhaps an upper lower workout maybe. Um, there are certain averages I find amongst people in terms of their training split and how that will be implemented. But I'm not dogmatic, you know. Sometimes it, there is, like I mentioned earlier, there is a strong indication for having an enjoyable workout plan that you can stick to, maintain. So that comes into it as well. If you have any questions, please just comment below. Please remember to like and subscribe also to my channel. Um, I've recently became monetized, so hopefully you'll be able to donate a bit of bit of coin to my channel and um, really keep keep this content coming. Um, I try to make this information as factual as possible, as pos positive as possible, and help as many people as I can. Um, I understand a lot of people nowadays, particularly after Christmas or sometimes the year, you may not have as much money. So these videos are a freebie. They are. Um, Essentially me dedicating some time just to help you guys out as much as I can within my limits and time constraints. So hopefully this is helpful and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.